everyone. Dr. Brian Scott with you. We've been sharing with you on these podcasts insights to the last days, things that are happening in these days in which we're living. We're coming to the very close of time according to the Bible. In 2 Timothy chapter 3, Paul the Apostle wrote to Timothy, who was pastoring a church in Ephesus, and said, In the last days perilous times are going to come. The word perilous means dangerous, extremely dangerous. It also means risk and hurt and pain. The last days refers to the fact that we're in the very last of the last days. Even the doomsday clock, as I mentioned in previous episodes, has been set at 90 seconds to midnight. Yesterday when we were sharing, we were looking at the ninth sign of these last days, which is unloving. And really what it boils down to is the deterioration of the family unit. And we shared a lot of statistics with you. I want to continue today with the next sign, which is called unforgiving. Now, I like working out of the New King James Bible. That's where it says unforgiving. The King James Bible talks about a truce breaker. In both cases, these words mean we have people who will break vows, break contracts, break covenants, and they will operate for their own self-interest. Unforgiving or truce breakers have an inability to settle differences. They have an inability to forgive one another. They hold grudges, very serious grudges. They will break relationships. They'll break marriages. They'll break business agreements and business relationships. Um, and they do so because of irreconcilable differences. It's hard to believe that we have so many marriages falling apart in our nation and the United States, I call this North America, uh, both countries. We have such high rates of divorce because of irreconcilable differences. When you're raising children and they get into an argument, parents usually say, work it out, <laughs> work it out. I can't seem to do that when we get older. The ninth sign we looked at was unloving or in the King James, without natural affection. It really means the breakdown of the family. This 10th sign, unforgiving or truce breakers, is the breakdown of relationships, all kinds of relationships, especially marriages. Here we have Paul tra uh, prophesying to us 2,000 years ago that in the last days, this will become a very, very serious problem. And it is, it's really a serious problem. I was, uh, I practiced law for many years. I began in uh, 1979 to practice. Practiced through the 80s and into the 90s. Didn't do very much divorce work but I did a lot of contract and covenant type relationship work and most of the law cases or legal cases were over breakdowns, differences, inability to work it out. But in the realm of divorce, when I started, you had to have real serious grounds to get a divorce. Um, you had to prove stuff. You had to have uh, private investigators take pictures of relationships or affairs. <laughs> Uh, then they decided to make it easier, and they said maybe irreconcilable differences after one year would be more in keeping with our society, and now we have a no-fault type of situation. We're talking about unforgiving. We're talking about truce breakers. We're talking about the breakdown of relationships, a sign of these perilous times. I've got some more on this for you tomorrow. I'll see you then. I call you blessed.